smoke some weed if you haven't already. I have to find my lighter. Where did it go? Oh no. Uh. And then when we're done smoking weed, we can, we're going to need crisscross applesauce. Where is it? What is happening here? If we are already in crisscross applesauce, close your eyes. Move your ass out of the way. And we're going to start to breathe. Inhaling through the nose. <laughs> okay. And exhaling through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Inhale, spreading the lungs up and down, side to side, front and back. Exhale, everything out. Inhale. And exhale. Continue the breath with the inhale, last as long as the exhale, the exhale, as long as the inhale, slow it down. The hands are on the insides of the legs. Of the knees. So the weight of the arms are helping the knees descend down towards the earth. We're going to start to pull the belly button towards the spine and up towards the rib cage. Immediately, we might notice a shift happening. Maybe our Torso shifting back slightly, good. We want to pretend that there's a wall directly behind us. The ribs are stacked over the hips, the shoulders over the ribs, the head over the shoulders. We're going to pull the lower abs up towards the ribs. Knees stay heavy. On your next exhale, close the rib cage and reach it down towards the pelvis. We talk about the upper abs reaching in towards each other, lower ribs connecting down towards the pelvis. The second ago, but couldn't tell yet if I said it out loud. And then we have the energy moving from the hips of the waist of the rib cage past the armpits. So the side body, the obliques reaching up and down, and then it's also reaching in towards your midline. Really allowing yourself to like connect and engage your core. Heart lifting up slightly, shoulders, maybe you want to roll them forward, up, back and down. Plug your shoulders into your back, so they're slightly reaching in towards each other and down towards 
the lower back. Let's set an intention for today's movement, the rest of your day, or the next few days. Is there something you want to focus on or let go of? Where is it landing? The mind, the body, the spirit. Inhale, bring your intention in close. Exhale, let that shit go. Let, let flutter the eyes open. Ugh. And we're going to, let's wake up the head. Inhale. Exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder. Inhale, open up your throat, lift up your chin. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. So we're going to draw a circle with our chin, extending through the spine, through the neck, as you lift the chin up. And then we're going to start using the shoulder caps and the chest getting a little bit involved. This is not a big circle, but I just want us to start getting more involved with the core. Lifting not just up like the chin and the throat, but the heart. And we're going to meet with our chin center, spine straight, and we're going to reverse the circle, drawing it with the chin. Engage your core in order to move your head. And then we want to get the shoulder caps involved, mostly just the upper back. So we're not going to do full blown giant circles, but we are going to get a little bit bigger using a little bit more of the spine, the shoulders, more of the core.
Let's do one more here. And we'll meet rounded forward, head heavy. And maybe the spine also rounded, the belly button pulling towards, not just the spine, but back behind you. Inhale. Exhale, stack the spine up. We're gonna inhale, lift the arms up towards the sky, palms facing in, shoulders down your back. Try to line the arms with the ears and lengthen through the elbows. Connect the lower rib cage. That core is fucking working. Press the palms into an imaginary block. Use your breath to breathe into the shoulders, inhale, exhale, slowly lower the arms down, four, eight, resist the movement, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, exhale, arms up. Knees are heavy, lower abs reaching up towards the spine, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale slowly, lower the arms down for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale. Breathe through it, use your core to keep the arms lifted, straightening through the elbows. Oof. Inhale, exhale, this time we're gonna fold over with a flat back. Fingertips come to the ground. We have a long spine from the top of the head to the tailbone. The torso is in a diagonal. We do not need to be low to the ground. Shoulders away from the ears, arms are engaged. We're pressing through those fingertips. We walk the fingertips forward slightly, coming a little bit longer, a little bit deeper into this flat back. Breathe, belly button pulls up towards the spine. Walk a little bit deeper into this, a little bit lower. Flat spine from the head to the tailbone. Inhale, exhale, come a little deeper. Inhale, exhale, round your spine down. And stack it up, use your core to stack your spine up, shoulders away from the ears, the head will be the very last thing to arrive. Inhale, arms come to a T. 
We're gonna exhale, drop the right hand down to the ground, lift your left arm up and over, gaze comes to the ground, shoulders away from the ears, keep your left ash cheek on the ground. Energy through the left fingertips. Notice your obliques, notice how they're engaged, notice how they're stretching. We're stacking the left shoulder over the right shoulder, so you might even feel like bringing the right rib cage forward in order to stack the left on top. We're gonna inhale, reach through the fingertips, lift up, coming to center, T with the arms, and then we bring the left fingertips down, right up and over, left, right ash cheek connected to the ground, shoulders away from the ears, Inhale, exhale, reach through the right fingertips to lift up and over, back to the T. Keep your arms in the T, palms facing down, energy through the fingertips, shoulder blades are pressing slightly in towards each other and down your back. Put the palms up, put the palms down, put the palms up and down. We're gonna keep doing that. Ooh, notice what's going on in your body. Or engage. Lower abs reach up towards the hip, towards the ribs. <clears throat> Keep breathing through it. Inhale and exhale, bring the arms down. Ooh, shake them out. Inhale, arms come up, palms facing in. Exhale, twist to the right, pulling the belly button to your spine. We bring the back of the right, left, just kidding. Back of the left hand to the top of the right knee. Your right fingertips are behind you. Your hips are facing forward as your gaze is going back. Fine twist. Can you grow a little bit taller through the spine? We're gonna inhale, lift the arms up, bringing the spine back to center, twist over to the left. Hips face forward, left fingertips on the ground behind you, gaze to the back, shoulders away from the ears. Use your core to move your spine. And coming up to center, palms up, arms up, inhale, exhale, folding forward with your flat back. 
Go as low and as deep as you want. And then we round the spine up. Stack it up, shoulders away from the ears. And bring the legs in front of you, give them a shake. Point and flex the feet. All right, um, we're gonna keep the feet flexed. Inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, folding over flat back. Do not worry about how low. Let's focus on how flat. From the top of the head to the tailbone, flat back, shoulders away from the ears, we're on the fingertips, the belly button is pulling up towards the spine. We're gonna try to bring the tops of our thighs down to the ground. And as we're flexing our feet, Broaden the feet so the exterior of your foot, of your feet, are almost like aligning with the exterior of your hips. We walk the fingertips forwards just slightly. Tops of the thighs still reaching down, belly button pulling up, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale, round the spine down. And stack it up. Ooh, wait, hold on. Don't stack it up just yet. Give yourself a moment here. So we're really pulling the spine, not just to the, hold on, let me try that again. We're not just pulling the belly button to the spine, we're pulling it back behind us. The head is heavy. We are super fucking rounded from the tailbone to the top of the head. The literal exact opposite of the flat back. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale, stack your spine up. Shake out the leg. Let's bring the left leg in front or the opposite leg, whatever it was. Move your ass out of the way with crisscross applesauce. Inhale, arms up. Palms facing in towards each other. Find your core, knees heavy. This is similar, but different. Notice the differences. We're coming from a neutral place. It just is what it is. There's a little bit of heat in the shoulders. Press the palms into your imaginary block. Inhale, exhale, folding over, flat back. Keep your ass connected to the ground. Don't worry about how low, we will get there. But we're finding a flat back, we're finding the core. Shoulders away from the ears. Notice the similarities, notice the differences. And as you continue to breathe, play with how deep you want to come into this flat back. Walking the fingertips out, taking your time.
Real, real round. Keep your ass connected to the ground. Head heavy. Inhale. Exhale, stack it up. Arms come to a T. We're going to drop the left fingertips down to the ground, reaching the right up and over. Stacking the rib cage. So the left ribs are reaching almost forward slightly. So the right stacks directly on top. Gaze to the ground, reaching through the fingertips, shoulders away from the ears. Your right butt cheek is on the ground. Inhale, exhale, lifting up, coming to your T, and then we drop the right fingertips, reaching the left up and over. Similarities and differences with the leg, which leg is forward. Use your core to extend through your spine, to extend through your arms. Keep your left butt cheek on the ground. Inhale, exhale, stack it. I mean, coming up to center, arms in a T. Let's bring our arms to a cactus. Palms facing forward, elbows in line with the armpits, hands in line with the elbows. We're gonna bring our, we're gonna close our arms so the elbows and the palms are facing each other right in front of our face. Elbows still in line with the armpits, hands still in line with the elbows. And then we open. So we're getting into our shoulders and we close and open. Use your core to move your arms. Let's do two more here. And bring the arms down, give them a shake. Bringing the left arm long in front of you, catching the left wrist. Drop the left shoulder down. You can circle the wrist. Reverse the circle. And then we're going to guide that arm behind us. Elbow bends, forearm center of the head, palm pressing in between your shoulder blade. Use your core. Those ribs are connected and engaged. And slowly lower the arms down. We're going to catch the right arm in front of us. Right shoulder down.
circle the wrist. Reverse the circle. And then we're going to guide that arm behind us. Elbow bends, forearm in the center of the forehead, palm pressing between the two shoulder blades. Connect your ribs, pull the belly button to the spine, lower abs reaching up, knees heavy. And slowly release down. We're going to extend the legs in front of us. Give them a shake. Flex and point the toes. We're going to circle the ankles. Really take your time articulating through the foot. And reverse. We're going to flex the feet, inhale, arms up, exhale, folding over flat back. Tops of the fat thighs reaching down to the ground. Feet are broadening. And we're on our fingertips. If you are feeling called to it, you feel like it's available to you right now, we can bring the palms to the soles of the feet, bending the elbows. Tops of the thighs still reaching down to the ground. Inhale, exhale, round the spine down, and stack it up. We're going to make our way to the ground. Let's just, we're going to sit in our hips for a hot second. So knees come in towards the chest, gently rock side to side, massage the lower back. You want to make circles with both of these together. Reverse the circle. And then we're going to circle the knees away from each other. And reverse. And now we're going to just keep the knees wide, come into a happy baby. We can grab onto our shins, our ankles, our big toes. It's up to you. But we're going to aim to keep that tailbone on the ground and the feet flexed. And just breathe into those hips.
yeah, breathe into this comfort. Not to get uncomfortable to get comfortable. Oof. Let's do three breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. 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 And exhale. Slowly, gently bring the knees back into your chest. Ooh. Maybe gently rock the side to the side. Lift your legs up into the air, give it a shake. And bring the knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a hug. Oof. Take a moment and thank yourself for spending time on you, with me, for you. <sighs> Truly. Good for the brains, good for the bodies, good for the spirit. Thank you for joining me. That was really nice to just like be in the body and not in my brain. Lovely. You know? Good.